Hello Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus signs. Welcome to your monthly couples reading for June 2020. Before I start, I'd like to thank everyone who have subscribed to my channel. Those of you who have liked, shared and commented, thank you all so much for your support. Yes, uh, just so you know, I have pre-shuffled both decks and although the first week has gone, I still want to um, do the full month's reading so we don't miss anything so everything will make sense and flow okay so leo let's start tarot and universe please tell us what is coming for leo couples sun moon rising and venus signs for the month of june and what's going to be their main energy right okay the neve of pentacles what has he got to offer <laughs> let's check in the book in the book of the neve okay and let's see what what he's trying to say here it says arousal okay mm. Okay, Leo. Arousal, right? So, Tarot and Universe, please tell us what's coming for Leo couples, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs for the month of June. First week, second week. Third week and then fourth week. The bottom of the deck is Eight of Cups. Okay. The first week we've got Two of Cups. Second week, eight of wands. Third week, knight of sorry, king of cups. And the fourth week, we got the four of swords. Okay, so Leo, we've got the eight of cups here as your bottom deck. We've got another eight here. Okay, and looking at this eight of cups here. Talking about feeling aroused, okay? Well, it's summer. Come on, yeah. So maybe the hot weather is going to make you feel really, really aroused. But also, I also feel it could be sexual. But some of you, it could also be mental, okay? It could be in any shape or form. I feel for some of you, you may you may have had a little bit of um misunderstanding with your partner or if even you didn't express it to them emotionally you felt like um they are not there for you or you are a bit you know like semi-detached from them or so you thought okay but in june i feel here for one reason or the other you are going to start finding your partner very very sexy very very attractive and you are going to feel like no I, I, i'm not going to walk away <laughs> that's how i see it here and you are going to do your very best to get your partner's attention because if even they try or they don't try let's face it leo you are the king of attention and i feel like you're going to do everything to win their heart back and they are going to do everything to give you whatever you want. That's how I see it here. Okay. So you are going to arouse them. Okay. Which is not bad. And of course, in the first week, we've got a two of cups here showing each other a lot of affection. And of course, with the two of cups, there's a lot of sexual 
energy going on there and i feel like yes this is going to carry out throughout the rest of the month okay because i feel like recently you've had this either you or your partner have felt a bit semi-detached for whatever reason it was but i feel like they, they can't really resist you know that is why i feel like they're kind of looking back and you're thinking no I, I don't really want to go i don't really want to go i'm going to um i'm really going to stay that's how i'm seeing it and here in the second week we've seen we see this eight of wands here but i feel here it's a lot of um i don't think it's just um just message i feel you're going to talk to each other and you are for some reason i feel there's going to be a lot of sensual conversation and there's going to be a lot of um sexual energy going on that's how i feel here for you leo i feel there's going to be a month where there's there's going to be a lot of sex and a lot of sexual talk a lot of dressing up and doing all kind of sexy stuff okay but i feel in the second week you will really communicate um with each other on the on a much higher level and um and go deeper into you, what you really want from a relationship in the second week and i feel this is where you know you are both going to feel more attracted to each other and of course in the third week we've got the king of cups so either you or your partner have got exactly what you want from each other there is love expressed there's possible proposal and i feel like here whatever you want from your partner you know i think things have changed things have changed completely so whether they told you or you told them you know that like within you you thought the relationship was dying but no it's not it's not something has happened for you or them to change their mind okay and it's all good so in the third week we see the two of you here you know drinking you know having fun going out going on date yes that is how i feel here in the third week everything is looking good for you and here i feel this is when you take a proper break and go away okay i don't feel this is um a bad situation i feel this is when you say okay let's just take a break from everyone and actually just spend time with each other so i feel wherever you are the possibility for you to physically um take a, some time together you could just decide to take the weekend off and just spend more quality time with each other that's how i see it here i don't feel this is a breakup or anything no i don't okay so it looks like it's going to be a very a month full of fun and sensual stuff going on so there's nothing wrong with that leo i have fun and um, i hope this has been insightful for you i'll see you next month or you see me next month